Hi guys, we are on varam24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, aka Fan Edition. At the very beginning, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for SIM cards. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to the assembly. To remove the back cover, we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise to detach the back cover. We always need to be careful around the side buttons, because in this area there may be cables and they can be damaged. We also need to be careful in the area of the cameras, so as not to touch or damage the lenses. And we open the back cover. On the cover we have the flashlight elements and the gasket. After that we need to remove the screws at the top. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 30 This will allow us to get to the battery connector that we need to disconnect. We need to carefully leave the cover and use a non-metal tool to disconnect the wireless charging connector. Carefully, we disconnect the connector and bend the assembly with a speaker NFC wireless charging to the side and use a non-metal tool to disconnect the battery connector. Ok, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5mm. This model has a lot of screws, will be different, so we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find the right and convenient place to hook the cover and lift it up. And we can remove the whole assembly. The assembly we have consists of the loudspeaker, wireless charging, NFC and the RP speaker. After that, we can detach all the interboard cables. We hook up the connectors and remove the cable going to the display. Please not the arrows on the cables indicate the direction to the motherboard. Also on the cables is indicated the location in relation to the motherboard and the subboard. And we can detach the narrow interboard cable. Then we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. We have to be careful because the fingerprint sensor cable is really thin and can be easily damaged. So we need to unscrew the three screws securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5mm. As we can see, the screws are black in color and obviously different from the previous ones. And we can remove the subboard. Carefully hook over the edge and try to leave the subboard. The subboard is slightly recessed. As I said before, the fingerprint sensor cable is thin and easily to damage, so be careful. And we take out the subboard. On the subboard, we have a charging port, microphone and a cards holder on the back side. 
Ok, our traditional test. Since the microphone hole is next to the cast tray, we need to make sure that we don't damage the microphone if we insert the tool into the hole. As we can see, the hole in the display frame is L-shaped. At the end of the hole, we have a gasket with a membrane, which are perpendicular to the hole and pressed against the subboard and the microphone hole. And the body of the microphone is located on the other side. Which means that if we insert something into the microphone hole, we are unlikely to damage anything but maybe membrane. Then we disconnect the connector on the side buttons. And we disconnect the connector and remove the front camera. Then we detach the two rear cameras. It's better to hold the cameras so that they don't fly out. At the same time, try not to touch the lenses so as not to damage them. If the camera is taped, then we have to gently pry it by the bottom. And we unscrew the screw holding the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, Philips H3O. So we can detach the motherboard, find the right place for which we can hook and leave the motherboard. We don't pull the motherboard by force or we can damage something. Ok, we have removed the motherboard, now we need to detach the last rear camera that is taped to the display frame. We gently hook it by the bottom and detach the camera. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. In our case, the battery is really firmly glued to the display frame. We use a thick plastic film to unstick it. We run the film under the battery and slide it up and down or back and forth detaching the battery. We don't know what is under the battery and if there are any holes leading to the display. So we won't use isopropyl alcohol and removing the battery will take longer. There is no need to hurry, it is important not to damage the display, display frame or the battery shell. At some point, we may try to leave the battery at this spot. We need to do this in order to push the film deeper. We don't want to force the battery or the display frame, or we may damage something. And we keep running the film back and forth. Ok, we achieved some success in separating the battery. We can push the film a little bit deeper and we need to check with a tool how far we have gotten and where the glue boundaries are. Once again, I remind you not to force or use the lever, otherwise we will damage the battery shell and that is really dangerous.
And we can try to pass the film around. And again, finally, we have a white and a gap through which we can see the boundaries of the glue. It is not longer possible to use the film because it is not too tight and begins to bend. So we will use another tool. Now it is important to pull the battery up so that the adhesive base stretches and we can cut it off point by point in the middle without touching the battery shell and the display frame. And we remove the battery. Because we didn't use heat gun or isopropyl alcohol, it took a little longer. Despite of that, we successfully removed the battery. Well, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until the next video. All I need are some better days, cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.